Also, I put cheese inside so it's better. But this is nothing that I look forward to having. This is the next best thing. Welcome to another episode of What to Buy. Today, we are talking about cup noodles. By the way, it just so happened that all of us got Nissin. It's not sponsored by Nissin, but if you guys want to sponsor, we don't mind. So, 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 first question, first question. So, what makes you guys like about cup noodles? Convenience! <laughs> <laughs> don't need to wash anything. Eat and throw away. I love the taste of MSG. MSG is amazing. If there was one food that I could eat for the rest of my life, I would choose cup noodles. I thought no! you were going to say I choose MSG. <laughs> no! I actually prefer the packet ones and then cook in my pot. They only wash. Yes, yes, but I because I can throw in other stuff, other kind of stuff like vegetables and uh, cheese, eggs and all that. It. Exactly, yeah, and I enjoy that. Yeah. And it's feeling and it's comfort. It feels comforting, you know? It's actually very good. Uh. I think a cup noodles is one of the greatest inventions. I agree. It is. One of the greatest yeah. inventions. I think it was voted as one of the greatest yeah. inventions. Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. The Japanese people. Yeah, thank the you. Japanese people. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Keiji. Hey, hey, hold thank on, you, hold on. We're going to find out who has the best cup noodle taste. I got the chili tomato and it also the sounds, curry flavor. I know this one sounds disgusting, it looks underwhelming, but trust me, chili tomato is one of the best cup noodles I've ever tried, okay? Uh, this The price point is slightly higher, it's about $3 each. $3? $3 is too much for a cup noodles. Yeah, that's too much. Too much. That's for much. for that size. Mm, so good. It tastes exactly like the Army Stew one. I got a feeling mine is more expensive because I bought it off grab. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Honestly, when I ate the noodle alone, right, it's very normal. It's like any other cup noodle. But there's this small thing, right, which is a tomato bit. That one, damn nice. No? <laughs> <laughs> to me, this is <laughs> very underwhelming. Uh. I just feel like it's just like very normal cup noodle. Obviously, give 10. Mm. I give it a solid 4. What? For me, this is a 5.5. It's like the baseline of cup noodle. It's not bad, but it's not like super shook. It's something that's like, okay, I'm very hungry. Alamak, I got nothing in the shelf. I, I just eat this. But if you give another cup noodle there, right, I'll always pick the other cup noodle. Mm. Yes. So it's a passing grade. That's why, to me, this is a treat. For <laughs> oh, you're savage. This is, this is nice smell. Look at the amount of ingredients there are in this one. Where there's like potato, I see a bit of meat here, and like garnish. You no, know, it feels like a proper curry, like udon or whatever. It's not great curry. And it, I don't know what y'all look for when you, you know, when you eat cup noodles, but this is nothing that I look forward to having. When you want to eat a soup cup noodle, right? There's a certain like drinkability that you yeah, this is to, undrinkable. You want to finish that every last bit of soup. To me, I will never ever finish this soup. I think calling it Japanese curry is an insult to Japanese curry. Oh my god! Wow, Nissin did not sponsor this. <laughs> <laughs> suddenly, I want to give tomato a, a seven. <laughs> I love the tomato suddenly. Yeah, so I think because now I eat it and I also feel like it's very underwhelming. Like, thinking <laughs> to myself, like, hey, now she finished. Finish. I'm damn hungry. I thought like, the previous time I ate it, I thought it was really good. So I felt, right. I think maybe I bought the wrong curry for Or maybe you were really hungry yeah. that time also. Yeah. So, scoring. So, um, I personally will give this a 2. And I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> I will give this one a solid 1.5. 1 for packaging, because it still looks very appealing to me. Uh, 0.5 for the meat inside, which is the only edible thing. Chili tomato, I give it a 5.5. This is, honestly, I give it a 2.5. The curry taste and everything, I'm not like super a fan. Yeah. So I will give, the, and I think the tomato one tastes better now. Yeah. So I think it's a 2.8. Wait, come, let me change your palettes because it is R my turn. Yeah, R&D, R&D, need to do something. Well, I'm, I'm, honestly, of all the choices, Nick's choices, I'm the most interesting one. Okay, so this one is called Little Chef. Uh, I just read the label, apparently it's from Thailand and it's Tom Yum, obviously. Just smell it and drink the soup. Oh it's my amazing. god, the lemongrass smell is amazing. Oh, the soup is amazing. It's quite spicy. Yeah. The soup, I, I, I would say it smells better than it tastes. La. I, I don't like the noodles at all. It feels very yeah. hard going down That's my throat. Right. And I also think the soup, the soup is very, it's nice-ish, but I, I think it, you can get that from the Nissin Tom Yum also. Should, In fact, I think Nissin Tom Yum is really? more flavorful. Nissin yeah, one has yeah. the lemongrass smell and taste. It doesn't. That's why I'm saying the smell is quite yeah. good. Yeah. I will give this four, maybe. 
You give tomato a 10 and then you I <laughs> love tomato. <laughs> I give this one a 6. I'm going to give it a 5.5, same as a tomato. The soup, I, I really love. So I rate it a 7. Value for money. And $1.35. So I changed mine. I give it a 6. Nice. I forgot that that is way cheaper than that. Okay, let me just tell you a little bit about this one, okay? So actually, right, I like the original one way better. Mm. Okay, but I have uh, never had this this particular flavor. So it's my first time. Because yesterday I was trying to hunt for the original one, right? And then it was out of stock. So that's that sad. She never wait. She never wait. Never mind. She Let's never eat. Wait. Let's eat. You know like the chef go to your table and hello sir, this is hey, never mind. I'll eat it. <laughs> Can I just say did it you, smells fantastic? Did you add mayo inside? Yes, I think they did. This brand is Nissin. <laughs> oh smoky? Yeah. This is Nissin also. Yeah. Why why are they dominating the cup noodles market? This is damn good, but it's not. It's, I will never crave for it. Meaning, like, something only come to the right. This is not the first thing that comes to my mind. This is something special. I will give it a seven point five. Uh, can I just uh, bring uh, some attention to the packaging? Yeah. Okay. So like, uh, you actually have like this part where you can pull right, and then it's like the water holes for you to pour out the water. So it's like, you, you can do everything with the, the cleverly designed packaging. Only Japanese people will think yeah, of that. Only Japanese people have this high level IQ. Yeah. That's why they made the best killer game players. But I'm not Japanese. <laughs> if you change the mayo to cheese, yeah. maybe better. Yeah, maybe because Ooh. I'm not a very mayo person. But this is good, this is good. Solid, solid. Solid, solid what? Rating. What's your score? Yeah. This one maybe 6.5 because I really don't like mayo. Ooh. Oh, I'll give you a solid 7. Mm. I will give you an 8. I'm, I'm, I'm more interested in the other flavors. Alright guys, next September. up is me! Yumi and Hara. Let's go. Japanese boy introducing us cup noodles. Yeah. This is something I actually eat at home. But not in a cup noodle form, in the packet form. It's a freaking 10 out of 10. The soup is on point. So yeah. good! I mean, it's not a chili tomato. La. <laughs> <laughs> the taste is a bit bland. I like uh, flavorful cup noodles. Yeah. Sesame oil flavour is the most basic, mm. basic ass flavour. I agree. I feel like this needs to be elevated with egg. And like, you turn it, put your meat, everything. I don't know if it's because we, I ate a lot that my, my mouth is very like overwhelmed with all the different flavours. But somehow, the, today is not as nice as I remember it to be. Mm. I think this is something that's very good. Let's say after one night of drinking. Oh uh, yeah. Then after that, you have this, wow, warm soup, like this sesame yeah. flavour. It'll be very comforting. But now, cause I'm full, like it just doesn't seem that nice anymore. I, I'm just gonna say I give it a seven. It's lesser than a UFO, but it's, it's above average. Mm, I I will give it a six. I will give it a six, just in cup form. If I can cook it myself, I will yeah, probably yeah. give it a eight. Yeah, yeah, I agree. <laughs> Like I said, it's the bar, so it's a five. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys ready yeah. to get your minds blown? I don't care what you guys say, even before eating, this is the best cup noodle, and I've tried many cup noodles in Japan. This is still the best. But the packet form, this is the next best thing. Selamat datang, fans di Indonesia. Indomie is my number one instant noodle. Hands down. Wow, tell you. Straight away. This is the peak cup noodle, okay? The packet one is better, but if you talk about cup noodle, I said, this is a 9.5 out of 10. First of all, it's only $1. Second, they freaking give a fuck in it. Don't need to wash anything. Nothing. Third, three minutes. Hey, this one I have to say, as much as I love Indomie, right? This, I have to give it only five. Because I think if you have never had packet Indomie yeah. before, oh, you have this. It's it's gonna destroy your imagination yeah. and your experience with the real Indomie. So yeah. this one actually brought its cousin down a little bit. I, so I'm not gonna. Give I have to agree actually because the color shouldn't look like that. Also, there are some extra bits. Yeah. To cook the actual Indomie. It should be a bit darker. No, I feel like you have to like be fair because there. I think in cup noodles there's still limitations. Yeah. True. Yeah, okay. So I think if cup noodles, as far as cup noodles go, I will give this actually 7.5, my highest, I feel. But still, MSG feel, it feels very unhealthy. And you see, after that, you make, make you like super. There is no cup noodle that's healthy. MSG is what we want Jeez, when we eat. That's, that's the MSG in all of this. We enjoy the MSG. How you need to eat cup noodles to be healthy, right? <laughs> Get out of here. If you want to eat cup noodles to be healthy, you eat this one. <laughs> Score, score, score. Uh, to me, it's a seven. Uh, yeah, I think uh, the packet one is definitely way above this. Yeah. So it's like, 
Uh, this one is a bit like noir. Okay. Okay, this is mine. This is the Nissin uh, cup noodles, uh, mushroom and chicken cup. Okay. But she braised cheese because she added cheese. Yes, yes, and you have to put cheese inside. So actually, one of my favorite is the tom yum one, right? But the tom yum one, uh, it's a, too strong sometimes for me. So this one, uh, mushroom chicken is good because it's light, and also I put cheese inside, so it's better. Oh, I am not a fan of the I'm cheese. Not eh. a fan of the cheese. I'm gonna, I'm the cheese is <laughs> oh, it throws me off. Eh. It was like it's like a sour little aftertaste that I'm so not fond of. Like you get. No, you no. the cheese no. is a mistake la. I, have to, I have to agree with um, Nick. The cheese makes it very weird. It almost tastes pukish. Oh! <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, no. no, it does not! I was looking forward to this the yeah, whole I day. Was, eh. I was like, wow, Lingi elevate me with cheese, all that. Then I was like, okay. It doesn't taste like a little bit pukish. That's because, that's because the cheese melted. It's supposed to be like half melted. <laughs> <laughs> When I had the bite, I was like, okay, not bad. Then after that, the taste of cheese hits you here and you're like, what? What the heck? Okay, okay, okay. Now you'll forget about the cheese. <laughs> no, 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 no. You gave it to us with cheese. Yeah. We're gonna judge it based on cheese. Okay? Don't forget about cheese. It started off like that. The moment the cheese taste come in, right? It's like, ah! Actually, if we look at how come, how come like the cheese, like, it's the cheese. It's the cheese. <laughs> Do you not want to play on the extra something? Yeah! <laughs> I'm giving this a negative one because it makes me want to puke on all my other food. You know when you eat food, you're supposed to feel your stomach, not the other way around. So this will be a negative one. I give it a one! I can't eat this! It's lower than car. It's, uh, kami is still edible. This is not eh. Kami, this is the diet eh. This is really the diet eh. From what I remember of like before the cheese, right? To me, it was already a very average instant noodle. With the cheese, you plummeted it down <laughs> straight to a one. Like it went from maybe like a 4.5 to straight to a one. Like that's how much the cheese does for you. Like this one is really like, oh yeah. Take it away. Take it away from me. This is the only instant noodle, right? That <laughs> the three of us cannot finish. Hey, the <laughs> only one there. Yeah. Eh. See how much there? Hey, the soup is damn good. Y'all try. <laughs> would you like that? Uh, would you like that? Yeah, 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 no. <laughs> this is normal chicken. Not oh, chicken. sorry, sorry. This one is normal chicken. It says signature chicken flavor. I think this one is the first one that uh, everybody tastes lah. From Chu Cheng eating. Huh? I personally like this better than the red one. Mm. The sesame oil hey, flavor hey, is. No. Hey, I don't After know. we had I this, had yeah, no. this is like wow, me, a know. ten out of ten. <laughs> Your one wins mine. Yeah, I give it a seven point five. Definitely, it's it's very like easy to swallow. Yeah. <laughs> it's very easy to swallow, kind of. And it also has so, a mayo. Yeah, but not as overwhelming. And it's just, it's nice ah, it's nice. No, this, you know, this kind of noodles is comforting. good to zheng. Because it's it's basic. Yeah. Touch your heart right now. You tell me the previous instant noodle with cheese was a 10 when this is a 8. <laughs> you touch your heart right now. Touch, touch. Hey. I swear, if I'm at home, right, watching TV at 10 p.m., right, I will eat this over this. With cheese? Yeah. Okay. No, she really finished. I think she really likes it. I really like it. It's just her taste. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. She really like it. I honestly think this, as far as chicken noodles go, right? I think Chu Chen Yi Ting has one of the best chicken noodles. Soup. Yeah, yeah. So I will give it a seven point five. Same. Yeah. Same. Ra, it's a, a it's a four point three for me. Yeah, I, I really like like bolder flavours. Mm. Like you can see from my choices. Yeah. Like. After trying all these, I feel like the tomato one is actually quite interesting and uh, it is worth a try. Yeah. I changed my score for the tomato one to a seven. <laughs> well, thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys learned something on yeah. what to buy. <laughs> and what not to put on cup. Yeah. <laughs> what not to buy also. <laughs> Alright, that's it for today and thank you for watching another episode of What to Buy and see you next time. Yeah. Buy some of these, like this one. This but one? Not, not this one and this one. This one, this one can buy the, the food cheese.